Hi, I wanted to show you this website I found when I was looking for deep cycle batteries uh, for my solar panels. Anyway, it's called uh, BD Batteries. It's located at bdbatteries.com. And the reason I'm pointing this website out to you is because they've got some really nice calculators you can use to determine how many solar panels you need based on the amount of energy you use in your home and also where you live. So if we go here to the Renewable Energy uh, link, and they have a number of calculators on their site. For now, we're going to just look at the solar panel output calculator. Click on that, and it'll take us to a form here. We don't need to fill out our name or, or date. But uh, anyway, the first thing you do is enter in your the kilowatt hours that you use per month. Now that's going to be, it says right here, it's usually printed on your electric bill and if not, if you don't have an electric bill handy, you can actually calculate it. If you go down here at the bottom of the screen, they've got this little grid where you can enter in your appliance and how many watts it uses per day and then it'll total up everything you've entered. So uh, I don't know about you, but I don't know how many watts my microwave uses, for example, and you can actually look that up here. They've got this little uh, list here of different different appliances you might have in your home, and then the actual watts uh, that it would that it would use. So popcorn popper, for example, 250. That's I would have to add that blender, uh, the microwave, that kind of thing. Um, dishwasher, so it's got pretty much everything that you might have in your home, vacuum cleaner that you would use uh, in your home. I want to show you one thing here that I found rather interesting. If we look at computers, so they've got uh, desktop and laptop separated, so our laptop uses about 20 to 50 watts, desktop uses, you know, three times that. So I've, I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, I'm, a, I'm actually on a laptop right now, so I feel pretty good about that. Anyway, that was a little side note. Um, so anyway, once you figure out what your kilowatt hours per month are, you enter that in. For the sake of demonstration, I'm going to just use 100 here. And then you um, need to know how many what the average number of Sunday or sun hours you have per day and that's of course determined by where you live so if you live in Denver you're gonna have 4.87 um, Tucson you know is gonna have a lot more 6.57 and I happen to live in Seattle Washington so if I click that that's pretty amazing isn't it we get three and a half days of sun hours that's our average um, so basically, uh, if I go down here, then it, it's already calculated the total wattage of solar panels that I would need um, based on you know what we entered here for our usage and then where we live. And then depending, the number of solar panels is going to depend, of course, on the voltage that those solar panels are putting out. So. Um, if I buy solar panels that um, produce, let's say, uh, 160 watts, then I would need eight solar panels to give me the kind of wattage that I would need to to power my home. So anyway, I thought I thought this was a really great tool uh, because it's you know one thing to know that you want solar panels, but to figure out how many you're going to need. Uh, is kind of a, a different matter and here's a really easy way for you to uh, figure that out. So once again that's bdbatteries.com. Thanks!